What is going on guys? This is Crozen and welcome to the Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin Let's Play. So I asked you guys a couple of weeks ago in a poll what kind of game did you want to see for a Let's Play and over 60% of you said Dark Souls 2. And I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that not only are most of my videos on this channel Souls related, but I did say that I never played this game before, so this is a completely blind playthrough, and that should be interesting to say the least. Now, I did start this game up already, and I got near uh, past the tutorial, and then my game crashed. So, I don't know why uh, it crashed. I hope that's not frequent in this game. Uh, but I just decided to go ahead and start it over again. Uh, that way I'm not leaving off at like a weird stopping point wherever I crashed at. So let's go ahead and let's get into this game and let's see this uh, cinematic intro here. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. drawn to a flame. Your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. For that is your fate. The fate of the cursed. So 
So I gotta say, that might be the best intro I've seen in all of Dark Souls. I mean, that one was a little bit more in-depth, I guess, than all of the other intros that they give you. And here we go. We are starting off with our character. And I find it kind of weird that you actually don't make your class before you start walking around. I think this is the only Souls game that's like that. I know all the rest of the Souls games, you start them right in a... As soon as you press new game and with this one though uh, we actually get to move around a little bit things betwixt uh, sounds like a, some kind of witch place and I think we go up here right so I went up here already and I went ahead and did this and I made my character and as I said my game just straight up crashed like right after that I was getting into the tutorial area and then BAM it just uh, crashed on me so oh what the fuck is that look like a look like a little rat or something just like tried to attack me did you guys see that okay so we cross the bridge over here and we go up into this door that is in a giant ass tree and let's go ahead and open this It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollows prey upon them, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> Try to recall your name. Alright, we'll go ahead and name our character here. I actually have to type this since I'm on PC. I've got to press enter and then now we go and do OK. <laughs> Alright, now here is where we go ahead and make our class and our starting gift and do all of the sorts with this. So I decided on the class because if you guys don't remember, I made a poll like two weeks ago and I asked what kind of build did you want to see for this let's play in particular. And the majority of you said you want to see a hex build. I think it was like 45% of you said hex build. And then in second was power stance build, which was only like 20% of you uh, who wanted to see that one. So I was thinking about this and I decided to go for the sorcerer because the sorcerer starts out with uh, 14 intelligence and also 12 attunement. And all you really have to do in order to start uh, going and progressing for a hex build, you just got to level up your faith a little bit and you already have that 14 intelligence. So I think this is just uh, the best way of doing this. And in case uh, we do get to a point where I'm not feeling the hex build or if it's just too easy in this game, uh, we can always respect and go for the power stance later on and we can still keep that 14 intelligence. Uh, so that way we can maybe get like some kind of intelligence buff for our weapon 
and play along with it that way. So for the gift, uh, I was looking through these, and I mean, none of these gifts seem like they're really necessary in this game. I know each each one of the Souls games always has one gift that's better than all the other ones, uh, but this one just has like terrible things, like human effigy. I'm assuming this is just humanity in this game. Healing wares. I mean, this is just uh, some HP. I mean, to restore HP or to cure poison, which I'm sure we're gonna find a lot of those in this game, anyways. Homeward Bone, I'm not sure why you would uh, pick this as your starting gift. Uh, seed of a Tree of Giants, a seed grown from a Tree of Giants, inedible. I do not know uh, what this does. Uh, maybe it allows you to talk with some giants or something in this game. I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there because I've never uh, did this before. Uh, bonfire Ascetic. Uh, tossed into a bonfire to raise the strength of nearby foes only for those who seek greater challenges. Oh, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. I don't think any other Souls game had that either. Petrified something. A simple petrified lump. It may be of some use someday. Uh, I think we might go with this, the petrified something. Maybe this can be of use to us down the line because everything else seems kind of like, I don't know, like useless to me. Uh, life ring, I mean, that can be useful, but... I'm not sure we really need that, and I think you can probably just get a life ring later on. I'm sure that's how it was in all the other Souls games as well. So let's go with Petrified Something, and let's go and see what kind of body style we are going to go with here. I find it weird I have to click up top in order to uh, change these menus. Uh, for the build, um, I guess we'll just go with the default one. And for physique, let's go for a muscular look and our facial structures. Uh, homeland. Um, okay, this guy, uh, nope. Oh man, that's one uh, sad looking boy right there. Uh, no, you have chubby cheeks. I do not want you. <laughs> so uh, let's go for this guy. This is like the, the most generic looking face and hairstyles. Um, I didn't like any of these hairstyles when I looked at them earlier. Uh, this one looks uh, ridiculous. Uh, I might just go with this one, uh, just a, a little bit of a pulled back look. And as far as hair color, we'll go with my hair color, I guess, which is like dark brown. Uh, so this would be the equivalent. What's this one? Uh, that's like reddish brown. Uh, wow, that's like a really bright yellow. Oh uh, yeah, let's just go with this one. And eyebrows. Probably just leave all this at default. I don't really want to get too far into this and start wasting... Uh, everyone's time here. Oh, we could go for a beard though. Oh no, I do not like that beard. Uh, we've got a little bit of a goatee look in there. Uh, no, uh, that's uh, way too much. Oh, we got the, the stash looking, stash looking guy. Uh, I'll just go with this one I guess. Give our guy a little bit of facial hair. Uh, beard color. Can we make this, I uh, guess we'll make this one uh, right here. Like a dark brown tattoos. Oh, we got facial tattoos. Uh, did the other Souls games have this? I don't recall. I don't think they had uh, face tattoos. Uh, tattoo color, opacity. Uh, okay, let's go for advanced settings now. And overall one. Uh, this is just his age and everything. I uh, wonder how he looks old. Uh, not really much of a difference, honestly. I mean, if this is you look old, uh, then you're not doing too bad with your life. Uh, let's just go. Uh, let's just go young. Let's go about right to there. Um, hormones, feminine, masculine. Uh, we'll just keep him uh, masculine looking, cause why not? Uh, color emphasis, weak, strong. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave everything where that's at. Uh, skin color, let's give this guy a little bit of a tan. He looks too pale for my liking. Uh, right here is good. Right here is good. Alright, I think I'm just going to leave everything else at default. Like I said, I don't want to get too far into uh, character creation. Is this your true self? Yes, it is. All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, 
Well, you never know. <laughs> through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. So these witch bitches be crazy. They be with that crazy talk. Uh, let's go up here. I did see a chest up here as I was going through this before my game crashed. And I believe this was just human effigy. I'm assuming that's humanity. I'm guessing that's just what they call it in this game. And then, uh... You guys have anything to say? Uh, you're just gonna laugh at me? Okay then. Uh, how about you? You must go on a journey Well, I suppose if you find yourself at an arm pass. But if your will is yet unbroken, then you may return here to start again with a clean slate. <laughs> uh, fuck that. <laughs> Screw that. Uh, what are you going to say? <laughs> You're just going to laugh at me? Okay. And you? This is a limbo. Drunk Lake and the outer world. Fair traveler, I know that you must have a story. Why else would you visit such a place? This lost, decayed kingdom. My name is Millibeth. The old women were once fire keepers. I am here to look after them. It is what my mother did, and her mother before her, and so on. The old women were keep, but now the fire shows signs of fading, and the kingdom is beset by hollows. The old women are sisters. I am told there was a fourth. Long ago, fire keepers were commonplace. But now they are lost, scattered to the winds. Okay, so that lady says a lot. Uh, but okay, you're done talking now. Uh, that would be pretty a boring life, uh, watching over these three old hags here. Uh, okay, let's see. Was this a door? No, no. I think it's this door that I have to go out of. Um, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here's the bonfire. And, okay, that just tells us about bonfires. And might as well go rest here. Uh, burn. I'm assuming that's Kindle in this game. Uh, we obviously can't travel anywhere. We got an item box. So I guess they give you the item box in this game at the start rather than having to buy it. Uh, fuck out of here, barrel. I like how it takes, like, five hits with a dagger to break that barrel. I guess that is, uh, pretty realistic. Uh, not really. Not really. And, okay, I went through this tutorial a little bit, and then my game just straight up crashed. And I hope that's not going to be too frequent in this game. I'm hoping that was, like, a one-time thing, but who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Uh, uh, uh. And I'm going to go this way. Oh, oh, there you are. Kind of caught me by surprise there for a second. I heard you, though. I heard you, though. And whoa. What is that abomination? I want to face that thing. I want to face that thing. I'm not sure if you can, though, in the tutorial, though, can you? Oh, that backstab. 
So they got a different backstab uh, animation in this game, huh? That looked, uh... I guess you hit him first, and then it does the backstab? That was pretty weird. I hope they're not as bad as Dark Souls 1. Let's just, uh... Let's hope for that. Okay, this guy... Oh, he's an archer. Uh. Uh, uh. 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 Okay, this guy takes four hits. Boom. Get out of here. Uh, should I be reading these stones? A lot of this shit just is, uh, the stuff you already know. Uh, it looks like everything has the same moveset in this game as uh, all the other Souls games. Um, okay, we go up here. Uh, what's this? Backstep. Yeah, so everything is like the same moveset. Oh! I got sniped. I got sniped by that archer. Oh, he just hit me again. I like how that arrow's like in my back and I'm like facing in front of him. Uh, that makes so much sense. Oh, we got a loot over here. Life gem. What's this say? Use item. Uh, so... Is that our Estus in this game? Is that our Estus? Slightly restores HP. That is a, a really slow Estus if it is. And I know some of you said that adaption raises, uh, it raises the speed in which you, uh, which you heal with from, uh, the life gem. Is that so? And, ooh. Yo, yo, give us moves. It's you! Give us Suki! Oh, so is this the, the crow that you can trade stuff with? Kick ladder down. Oh, but yeah, a lot of you said that adaption is necessary in this game. And that is because it allows you to get more invincibility frames when you roll. And so we'll have to see how that is. I know, like, a lot of you said I should go up to, like, 96 agility or something like that. Uh, did I miss anything? Oh, yeah. There's a fucking loot up there. Uh, I probably need to uh, jump down from up here, huh? Probably need to jump down from up here. So this is about the place where I crashed. Like, I, I saw this crow, and I kicked that ladder, and right here was, like, the end of it for me. Uh, can I make this? Okay. Okay, soul of a nameless soldier. And looks like we can go through here, too. Uh, we got one over there. What the hell is that thing? Uh, there's something in front of it, though. Uh, let's go through here. Okay, we already know how to two-hand our weapon. Uh, I definitely want to get some uh, some sorcery going in here. Oh! That does a lot more damage than that dagger. Uh, so, one thing I noticed with sorcery is that it's a lot quicker in this game than in all the other Souls games. While dashing, dashing jump. Oh, we got a little bit of a gap here. Oh, so this is different. Uh, before, the dashing jump was... Uh, when you run with the B, you actually uh, let it go of it and it jumps. Apparently this one is uh, the left stick, the left bumper. Alright, so let's see if we can't make this jump and not fail. Uh, ooh, I actually like that animation a lot better though. Amber Herb. And now we gotta make this jump back to... Oh, there we go. I almost missed that, I feel like. Alright. So far, so good. Um, I, I really want to face this thing. I don't know if you could face this guy, but... Uh, we can't get to him here, obviously. I'm assuming it's through this little, uh, fog right here. Oh! What is this? A statue blocks your way. Uh, really? Really gonna block my shit? I wanna go face this dude. Guess I can't, huh? Oh, wait a second. How do you get up there? Uh, is there like a tutorial section I missed? Uh, let's see here. Uh, did I miss something? Can you go up there? I saw another fog up there. Maybe I have to go through all the fogs. Uh, but I don't think there's any other place to go through here, right? Um, I could be totally, uh, wasting everyone's time right now. Yeah, so... 
I don't know, apparently there's a fog up at the top, but I can't get to it. At least it doesn't look like it. At least it doesn't look like it, so... I guess we will be skipping that for now. And I guess the only place we can go for is uh, forward, right? Yeah, I don't know, there's a fog up there, but apparently that has to do with going through that fog, so I can't reach that place yet. And where is this taking me to? Oh, got some messages now. Try hollow. Try close range battle. Stay calm. Now the real fight begins. Holy hell. Look at all these blood stains. What is this? Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, that is nuts. Uh, is there something? Hurrah for a bright spot. Boulder head. Uh, is there something to do with this wall? Illusion head. Uh, it's definitely not an illusion because I can't attack through it. Uh, do do uh, illusory walls work different in this game? Do you have to like do something to trigger them? I don't know. I don't know. Try magic, but tears required ahead. Praise the sun, or give it up. <laughs> Don't give it up. In short, do it. Be wary of bravery. Uh, so, I don't know. Think carefully. Despair ahead. Oh, where's this guy running to? Uh, I don't get this. There's apparently some, like, real tough enemy here, but... I do not know how to trigger him. Good luck. Alright, Majula, Majula, am I pronouncing that right? Uh, is this the main hub in this game? I gotta say though, it looks way more awesome than any other main hub. Oh, I saw some loot down there though. Oh, can I get down here? Oh, yes I can. Yes I can. Oh, the camera angles are just so different in this game, like... I think that's the thing that's going to bug me the most. Oh, Morning Star and Cleric's, Cleric's Sacred Chime. Uh, let me see. Would that Morning Star be better than what I have? Obviously, it probably would be. But I don't know if I could equip that. Uh, inventory. Equipment. Here we go. Um, can I equip this? How much? Oh, no. 15 strength it requires. So there's no way I could use that right now. Uh, and the Chime requires 10 faith. Um, I like how we don't have, uh, we didn't have no gloves equipped, or our hood. Uh, I wonder why that was not equipped. Uh, that's kind of strange that they would not equip that for us. Binoculars. For the gorgeous view. So how do we get back around here? I guess we just go forward. Oh, what's this say? Fine work. Why, thank you, sir. Oh... I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go right now. I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go. Read message. No, I don't want to see a your pool of blood. I want to see the message here. Therefore, keep moving. Alright, so here is the bonfire. And I'm assuming this is the main hub. It kind of looks like it. We got some people we could talk to. Hurrah for jumping. So, I'll probably leave it off here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this first episode, and I hope you stick around and watch the remaining episodes to come. Uh, this is a completely blind playthrough, and this is just going to be crazy. I do not know what to expect out of anything. I don't know where to go. Uh, we're just going to play this game and see what happens, and I'm sure a lot of you can give me some tips in the comments. And see you guys in the next one. Peace out.